The Dew Tour is coming to Ocean City next month, and we're kicking it off with five days of prizes. Here's how you can win. We want to see you do what inspires you. It could be gardening or fishing. It could be extreme action sports like skateboarding, surfing, or mountain biking. It could be anything. All you have to do is send us your pictures. You can enter now through May 22nd. Go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the Show tab, and you will find the contest link there. Delmarva Life viewers will vote on which pictures are best and then we'll give away one prize a day June 10th through the 14th. Prizes include a BMX bike, an autographed skate deck, Dew Tour premium passes and other Dew Tour swag. So do what inspires you and good luck. We, we don't want it to happen, but let's face it, our vehicle can eat a tow anytime, anywhere. Now, if you find yourself in that situation, do you know who to call or how to keep yourself safe as you wait for some help to arrive? Well, Brian went to Simpsons Towing in Salisbury to find out what everyone should know when it comes to those unexpected moments on the road. It's happened to many of us at one point or another. We're driving along the road and then suddenly our vehicle breaks down and the only way to move again is with the help of a tow truck. I would just keep your cool, uh, make, sure, make sure you're in a safe spot. Josh Spear is a heavy-duty wrecker operator for Simpsons Towing in Salisbury. It's a business that has been in his family for decades. My grandfather started back in 1955 as a golf service center, golf gas station, and uh, bought his first wrecker probably right around the same time. And it's, ever since then, we haven't stopped. Josh now works alongside his grandfather, grandmother, and uncle, and says he knew this would be his career path from a young age. This is all I did when I was a little kid. I was playing with toy tow trucks, so I was towing. I was towing on my knees. Since Josh and his family have been doing this for so long, they say they know how basically every situation should be handled. Josh says if you do break down, this is what you should do. Pull to the side of the road, then put your flashers on. After that, you want to make sure you turn your front wheels all the way to the right. This way, if another vehicle traveling on the road or highway hits you from behind, your car will go off the road and not back out into traffic. Once you've done that, call for help. Josh says everyone should then get out of the car and away from the road. But be advised, Josh says when pulling off the road, keep one thing in mind. Instead of pulling the whole vehicle off the road, try to leave some of it on the hard road so we can actually get to it without having to winch it from the shoulder or the ditch just to load it. Also, if you have a lot of people in your vehicle, keep in mind a tow truck may only have room to transport a few passengers and the driver, so you may need to make other arrangements. And whether you break down five minutes from home or five hours, Simpsons Towing does go beyond Wicomico County. We will go anywhere. If you break down in New York City, we're on the way. We have a lot of customers, uh, trucking businesses that go all over the country and they'll tow, if they have a truck go down, they'll tow another tractor, another truck to that. We'll tow it to that driver and bring the, the wreck or the broke down truck back to Salisbury. And we've been all the way north to the Canadian border, all the way south to Florida, Texas, Kansas, I mean, we, we go everywhere. And their equipment can handle just about everything, from wreckers to flatbeds. There are even devices that can help pull a car off the side of the road or off another vehicle that's been in a bad crash. But when it comes to towing, sometimes your car has to be taken away because you've parked somewhere you shouldn't. Josh says when that happens, there are ways to find out where your car has been taken to. In, in towing terms, that's called a PPI, private property impound. It's when uh, the property owner has signs for private parking, and, and, and if you park there, they'll have it towed. Uh, if you walk out and your car's gone, look for the signs. There should be signs with the towing company's name, phone number, address, and all that, all the information you'll need. We have to report all the cars that are removed to the local police within like 30 minutes, so they will have the information if your car was towed. And when it comes to the actual towing process, Josh says if your car is being pulled by a tow truck, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Well, the thing with the towing with a wrecker, or when you see a car getting dragged behind a truck, you got to make sure the drive axles, the transmission, is not the axle on the ground. So if it's front wheel drive, the front wheels need to be off the ground. Rear wheel drive, the rear wheels need to be off the ground. 
If you see a vehicle getting towed by its drive axle on the ground, it will do damage to the transmission. So expect the unexpected when out on the open road and make sure you have the number of a tow service handy just in case you need it. Josh says if you break down and have no phone, it depends where you are as to whether you should be getting out of your vehicle and walking to get help. If it's not safe, he says your best bet is to wait for a cop or someone else who can assist you. Good advice. Good Still idea. to come on Delmarva Life, you could probably think of 250 ways to spend $250, right? We'll have your chance to win. And that's not all you can win today. We also have a shot at a pair of Tracy Lawrence tickets for you, the country singer in Denton next month. You might even get to meet him. But next, for many couples, getting pregnant is tough, but could all of those wives' tales, such as stand on your head, actually work? <laughs> <laughs> we'll separate fact from fiction and find out why getting pregnant may actually come down to what you eat. And while we're talking about kids, Rachel Ray has a couple of kid-friendly, handy how-to tips. Hey guys, here's a couple of great tips for the kids, especially with the warmer months of the year coming. Whether the kids get a little sunburned or they have a scrape in the backyard, you can make your own ice packs just by mixing a little rubbing alcohol in a one to three ratio to water. It'll never freeze all the way and you can have them right in the freezer ready to go. Also, kids love ice cream cones, but you don't love it when it drips all down their arm and ends up all over their clothes. So just put a marshmallow or two down at the bottom, a little mini marshmallow, and it'll keep it from dripping.